Okay, so here we have a new lab called Polybius Square Cipher. It's a Greek Polybius. There's an explanation for that specific uh, um, type. But basically, we are given the English alphabet letters from A to Z. And we, we will put them inside a, a table. And the row numbers and column numbers will be the cipher for that uh, encoding. So basically, for, uh, for the uppercase A, row number is 1, column number is 1. So the cipher will be 11. For Z, row number is 5, column number is 5. The cipher will be 55. If you pay attention, you will see that I and J are both assigned to the same cipher, which is 24, right? So here is the alphabet letters, I and J is here. So we need to get this uh, row numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And the best way to get the row numbers is by, um, uh, where was that? I worked on this. So um, row numbers, we can get them from, um, double slash division, which is also called integer division or quotient without reminder division. So we can get this n number here, n number and double division for quotient of five, right? Um, sorry, uh, divisor by five. Fives are divisor. So here, and the uh, column numbers one, two, three, four, five. We can use this modulo operation and we can do it for mode five. So basically, these can be the reminders. To them, right? So we need to get the integer division values to get the row numbers and, and the modulo operation for the reminders. So let's put it together in, I can clear the output here. In, uh, Code that basically we will first start with these letters of the alphabet. We let's call this string called S. So uppercase A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, I skip J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That song helps me to uh, get the numbers in order. So let's see if we get this numbers correct. So how many letters do we have now? 20, so index number is 25. Um, it should be right. All right, so normally we should have 26 letters, but we are skipping J because I and J will get the same number. So what we can do to start is we can get the index numbers of those letters. So we can use the um, this comprehension method easily. So for I in length of the string here, we are looking for the um, the um, quotient without reminder, or or we can say division, um, integer division operation, and we can add it to the reminders. So um, if we do this um, I value forward slash five, and let's do it here very quickly. I'll do print S and I will call it index numbers. All right. It will be five zeros for the first five numbers and then five ones, five twos, five threes, four, five fours. So this is really about the indexing uh, convention by Python. So we can add one to that so that our indexing starts from one 
and covers all the way to fives. So these are the index numbers, but in fact, these are the um, row numbers. And if you pay attention to the outcome here, these are integers, so we need to change it to strings, all right? So the problem, and I will do that, so we have now strings for that. The problem was telling us the first digit is the row number, the second digit is the column number. And the row numbers, we get that from this operation. And column numbers, we can get from the modular operation. So we will essentially do the same thing. And I will add it as a string. And instead of forward slashes, we will be using division sign. And if we run it out, it works. So the index numbers basically are, are 11 for A and 55 for Z. So first digit is the row number, second digit is the column. So we have the index numbers assigned. So what we will do, or oh, before I go forward, I forgot about that. So we need to add the, the letter J to the string S, and also we need to add this um, corresponding cipher for this let this letter J, which is two for twenty four, two for the row number, and four for the um, four for the um, column number. But if I do that, let's see. You see, it's an integer here, so I need to assign it as a string. All right. So the last is of the string. All right. Now, this is really the alphabet letters. I didn't do the map or zip option. I could do that, but I don't need to do that for this. And I will show, explain you why. Well, what we will do next is we will look at the index numbers of this test string. So the the um, function will be using this these strings as text. So let me copy one of them just to check it. Copy, and here I will call it text. And these are the letters. So what I will do now. I will be having a for loop where I will have the um, range of the length of the text. So I will be looking at the index number. So i's for the characters inside the string. String is an iterable object. And I will have a, let's call it an answer string. And I will be appending to that string. And I will be using plus equal sign. What I'm appending basically is number one, I need to find out the index number of that letter inside the string. So I will first, let's say, I will look at the letter P and I will go and check and find out the index number for letter P. And I will be using that index number and use, and I will find out the encoded value for the 14 character in the alphabet. Right? So what I have to, have to do is to get first, let's call it an index. I'll be finding the index number of that letter in the of letter in the test string. So I'm sorry, text string. Okay. So text I, I'm finding out the finding out the index number for that. And I'll report it as IND. What I will do next is I will um, go to this SIND list and wrote the index number of that, which is IND. And I, I will append it to this final string and I will do it for all I values inside the text. 
just to keep the code short instead of ind here i can just copy it and paste it so i can put everything in one single line in fact that's what i will be doing let's give it a try all right so i'm giving i'm giving i'm giving an error message and it's a value error meaning so it says substring not found so if you pay attention on this text string i have a, a i have I have this um, space and in the final test by the code wars algorithm, I may have other symbols characters such as an exclamation mark, question mark, period, comma, and different slashes. So what I have to do first then is I need to put an if statement and make sure that we are looking, we are looking at the characters inside the text which are in the english alphabet so to do to do that so the the character inside the text should be in s for us to do this operation otherwise if it is not we will just use the symbol as it is without making any encoding so with that, I should get rid of the error message. Yes, I and I did. So the index num. So I was showing the index num. Sorry, I had to print the answer. I guess. Okay, the final string. And there you go. No, it's not right. Okay. Um. Okay, now it works, now it works. So basically, I, um, yeah, so this P is, if I look at over here, P is 35. So 35 is for P, and then O, L, Y, B, U, S, and it goes forward, and if the, if the, symbol the character let's say space or it's not given on the it's not available on this s string it's using it as it is without any coding right so this long uh, for loop let's convert it to a single line by using list comprehension so what we are trying to get is called answer and it will be a list now um so the outcome is this. I will take this. And that is if this text is inside the string and we have else, we use it directly as it is. And everything is for this for loop we define it. I use cut intentionally to make sure I'm not missing anything. I think it should be fine now, so I don't need that anymore. And run it. All right, so I have an error message here. I in range. I think I have, I forgot to put four here. Okay, so now it should work. All right, so we get that. So we now have the individual characters using the cipher of, on this of the text. And um, instead of printing the answer directly, what I can do is I can use this join method and join them. So join, I can join the elements of the string together. And <clears throat> I am missing Okay, I think I forgot. No, I'm missing the comment for the print. All right, that's one. Okay, so I got this answer uh, obtained. So I need to take this and apply it on this uh, code wars.coms 
terminal here, but um, the difference is that in here we are defining a function. So S is not given. So the alphabet letters we will assign it as S, and we will do this index operation, and we will add the missing letters, missing letter and missing cipher for that. So the text we don't need to do that because the code will test the code test it with different text strings. So I don't need that. And answer is what we will be doing. So instead of print, we will be using return. And I don't need the end parenthesis. Okay, let's test it. It works. Yes, attempt. Okay, it passes all the tests, so this code is now complete. It's running smoothly. 